Hello guys, I'm Beh4 here and today I'm going to install Tomato firmware on a Linksys E1550 wireless router. The first thing I need to do is to make sure my wireless router is actually supported. So I need to go to their website and then go to help, router list and make sure my wireless router is listed there. I can also see the firmware version that I should install. Now that I know my device is supported, the next step would be to download the firmware. So I'm gonna go to download and tomato firmware and here I'll need to click on the right firmware version. On this page I'm going to choose the latest release and then Linksys E-Series. Here there are a few firmware versions for a Linksys E1550. I'm going to download the Mega version. It's a zip file so I need to extract it. Before and after any firmware upgrade, I do a hard reset just to make sure the NVRAM is clear and there are no pre-existing configurations. First, I need to make sure the unit is powered on and there are no wired or wireless clients connected. Then, I'm gonna press and hold down the reset button for 30 seconds. Still holding down the reset button, I'm gonna unplug the power and wait for another 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna plug the unit back in and wait for a final 30 seconds before I release the reset button. Now I can connect my computer directly with an Ethernet cable to one of the LAN interfaces of the router. Now I need to open a browser and go to 192.168.1.1 which is the IP address of my wireless router. In case I don't know my router's IP address, I can open a Windows command prompt and type in ipconfig and look for my default gateway which is going to be the router's IP address. So on the router I'm going to continue to the setup page. Then I'm going to go to the administration and firmware upgrade. Here I'm going to upload the firmware file that I downloaded earlier. At this point I should wait for 5 minutes until the upgrade process is finished. The last step would be to do another hard reset. Okay, I'm done and now I can log into 192.168.1.1 to confirm that Tomato Firmware was installed successfully. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video if you found it useful and feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you again and I see you next time.